The novel coronavirus attaches to your cells through your mouth and nose and works its way into your lungs where it can spread to other parts of your body. How do we stop it from doing that? With a vaccine. So a vaccine is a way for your immune system to identify a foreign invader and prepare for an attack even before you have an infection. A vaccine can stop a virus in its tracks and keep you from getting sick. What scientists all over the world are trying to do is create a vaccine that's gonna teach your immune system what this coronavirus looks like so you're protected against a future infection. Vaccines are actually made from part of a bacteria or virus that have lost their ability to replicate and infect a person. And this could be the outer shell of a virus or bacteria. It could be genetic material. It could be part of it. It could even be a weakened version of it. That weakened version of the coronavirus can be injected into the body and recognized as a foreign invader called an antigen. That antigen would then let your body know to protect it from the virus. And what this basically is going to do is give your immune system an idea of what the virus or the bacteria looks like. Before the first person is ever injected with a vaccine, it has to be proven in a lab. Once they have that part down, and there is an idea that this type of vaccine could work, they then move on to phase one clinical trials. Now phase one is basically gonna use a very small amount of healthy adults and make sure that the vaccine has no adverse side effects. You gotta make sure the vaccine is safe. Phase two would be to test that vaccine on hundreds of people. At this point, researchers are looking at what the right dose is and looking at how to scale up production of the vaccine to treat millions. In phase three, thousands of people would be involved in testing to make sure that vaccine is safe and works. Now, this entire process could also, you guessed it, take a couple years, but this is why. Because after phase three, all this data and all this work the scientists have been doing gets reviewed by both the FDA and the CDC. The whole process typically takes 10 to 15 years before a vaccine can be licensed for use. So a lot of people now are saying, whoa, 10 to 15 years, that's a really long time. But everything changes when we're accelerating development because we're using previous research and a lot more collaboration and a lot more funding which is why we're hopeful we could see a COVID-19 vaccine within 12 to 18 months. With dozens of companies already testing out vaccines globally, researchers are hopeful the coronavirus may soon go the way of smallpox, malaria, and polio, and be a part of our past. Reggie Aki, ABC7 News.